Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. Homage to the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one. This is the first teaching of the Tathagata on attaining to unexcelled perfect enlightenment. Here is the perfect turning of the incomparable wheel of truth, inestimable, wherever it is expounded in the world. Disclosed here are two extremes and the middle way with the four truths and the purified knowledge and vision pointed out by the enlightened one. Let us chant together this discourse, proclaiming the supreme independent enlightenment that is widely known as setting in motion the wheel of the Dhamma. Thus have I heard that the Blessed One was staying at Paramahasi residing Release and detachment from craving. 
This is the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of dukkha, the noble way for path, namely, right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. Seeing the noble truth of dukkha, there arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of dukkha is to be understood. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of Dukkha has been understood. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the cause of Dukkha, there arose in me vision and knowledge, Insight, wisdom, and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the cause of Dukkha is to be abandoned. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom, and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the cause of Dukkha has been abandoned. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the cessation of Dukkha, there arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the cessation of Dukkha is to be realized. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the cessation of Dukkha has been realized. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of Dukkha, there arose in me vision and knowledge, Insight, wisdom, and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of Dukkha is to be developed. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom, and light concerning things unknown before. Seeing the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of Dukkha has been developed. There arose in me vision and knowledge, insight, wisdom and light, concerning things unknown before. So long as my knowledge and vision of these four noble truths in their three faces and twelve aspects was not fully clear to me. I did not claim to have awakened to this incomparable, perfect enlightenment. In this world, with its devas, demons, and kind spirits, its secrets and sages, celestial and human beings, but when my knowledge and vision of these horrible truths in every places and twelve aspects became clear to me. Then I claimed to have awakened to this incomparable, perfect 
taken my commandment. In this world, with its devils, demons, and my spirits, its secrets and sages, celestial and human beings, knowledge and vision arose within me. Unshakable is my deliverance. This is my last birth. There will be no more Oh, 